This right here is a gingerbread version of the balloon floating house from the movie Up. I've done many videos on gingerbread houses throughout the years, but this, this is something bigger. The greatest gingerbread house content that you've ever experienced. I really do love a gingerbread house. I appreciate the craft that goes into it. The fact that the whole thing is edible. It's one of the most exciting parts of Christmas for me. I picked a few houses from movies, cartoons, TV shows that are just so iconic that any person on earth will recognize this house. And I contacted the gingerbread specialist and I asked them to recreate these houses made out of gingerbread. Gingerbread is a craft, it is more difficult to make than cake. So each of these houses cost a thousand dollars. Each of them, each of them. I have not seen them. I have no idea what's on here. I know the front is on this side and this side as well. So I'm going to cut a hole into it and we're going to experience this together for the first time. I hope my money's worth because it was a whole lot of money. I want to start this with what I think is the most iconic fictional house in history, which is the Simpsons house. Yep. There we go, that's what I want. In this first box behind me, we've got a gingerbread version, like a giant, but also miniature, I don't know. Better be not that miniature, because I paid a whole lot, of this house from The Simpsons. I feel like this is one of those that kind of crosses all generations. I was like, this is the first one that I want to start with. If you ask your parents which house this is, if you ask your grandparents, they will know which house this is. If you ask a six-year-old child, they'll probably know what house this is. So I sent the baker this photo and I said, I want The Simpsons house going from cartoon animated into gingerbread reality. Transforming this whole house into gingerbread cost a thousand dollars. This is great. This is fine. This is one of the few that is open on this side, so I know the front of the house is on here, but I also think this is kind of the front. They would work either way, so I'm just gonna open it. Okay, this might take a while. It's a whole lot of cardboard. Oh my god, this better be worth a thousand dollars. I'm gonna have a panic attack if this is not worth how much I paid for this. Inside this box, we've got a giant gingerbread house replica of the iconic house from The Simpsons. Three, two, one. I literally, I don't know what to say, I have no words, oh my god, the colors, how is this gingerbread, <laughs> this is gingerbread, since when, oh my god, this is the most incredible, detailed, anything I've ever seen, I cannot believe this whole thing is edible and it's gingerbread, it smells like gingerbread! How oh, is this real? There's a tree house! Take me the tree house! <laughs> There's a tree house! Oh my god, I can't even decide which part I like better! You guys are not ready for the back! There's a tree house! They made the tree house! This is the most incredible thing I have ever ever seen and this is well worth the thousand dollars I paid for this because this doesn't even look real it literally looks animated how is this gingerbread this is gingerbread just how this looks so realistic that I feel like if I open the garage they're gonna be living inside it's messing with my brain I was maybe expecting that they would do the front with the garage door and everything that was basically in the photo that I sent them but then they go and make the details, there's bricks on here. This whole thing is gingerbread. The grass, like I keep on forgetting details because it's really hard to take all of this in. And then in the back, they hit us with even more detail than the front. And the whole thing smells like gingerbread. Like this smells like Christmas, even though it doesn't look like it. And look at this, it's got a tree house. Wait, is there a light in there? Wait, there's a light inside the tree house. Wait, what? 
I'm not sure actually, but it looks like there's something in there. Do you guys see it? Something is flashing in there. Like this is gingerbread? What is this made of? The whole thing is edible. There's an actual gingerbread house. I was truly debating if this was gonna be worth how much I paid for it. Cause I'm not gonna lie guys, this was a whole lot of money for a gingerbread house. But something in me was telling me that it was gonna be something that I was gonna remember forever. Like something that you guys would truly love. We need to do a side by side with the animated image, which is what I've sent to them. But like this, it's so perfect that it's really hard to tell the difference. Like I'm looking at the camera and this looks animated. Like this doesn't look like it's made of anything edible. I honestly, if I saw this, I wouldn't think this is a gingerbread house. This is not what I was expecting. I was expecting this to be gingerbread color, maybe painted on the edges with like a few details. I was not expecting this. I still cannot believe it. I can't get over that each side has got like details, like the windows, the roof has got like sides, there's grass on it, and the back is probably my favorite part. I just, I love the trees, I love that the colors of it are so accurate. It's like being in an episode of The Simpsons. It's so strange. I keep on expecting them to open the door and like Bart Simpson is gonna be playing in his treehouse or something. I don't know, like it's really freaking me out. This is one of the most epic reveals we've ever had. To the point where I'm like, I don't even know what to do with this now. Like, I don't think I honestly can cut into this. How can I even? I don't have any meat to grab a knife and cut into this. That's so incredible this looks. It's so strange to look at me and this next to each other because why does it look so realistic? It's almost like I'm a giant. I'm like, it's really, really weird. Okay, the front of the house, I mean, this is, it's peak art. I don't know what this is made of, like the, the bottom of it. I guess this is not gingerbread. It is edible and it tastes good. It's like the icing for the gingerbread houses. The same one that you buy from a DIY gingerbread house, except it's just dry. Like this is not fondant, even though it kind of looks like it. Wait, it might be fondant, I don't know. Like once we start peeling it off, is there gonna be gingerbread on the inside? I don't think I have it in me to actually cut into this. It's perfect, it's like the iconic pink. The glass windows, look at this detail. Look at the door, there's a doorknob. It's so cute. It's a miniature doorknob. I don't even know what to do here. I don't know what this is. I don't want to ruin it just yet without taking a photo of it. The grass detail is truly incredible. I don't think you guys can see all the details. For example, the greens in the corner, they're heavily textured. Like, it just looks animated, the whole thing. There's little details like adding the bricks. The windows, the window frames, the lines around the roof, and then the roof, it's got little marks on it. It looks animated. The whole thing just works. The colors are rich. It reminds me of like old school The Simpsons, like the very first seasons when the colors were very vivid, bright, old school cartoon kind of thing. They really did not have to do all these details because I only sent them a photo from the front. You guys saw the photo that I sent them. That's all I've said. I said, make this out of gingerbread. I honestly was expecting this to look brown. This is a replica. This is a gingerbread house replica. Now the prices are making sense. See, this is what happens when you go to the best skilled person. Maybe I've received too many one star rated cakes. I wanna move in here. I wanna live in here. I wanna live in this tree house. Wait, this is gingerbread on the inside. The tree is made of gingerbread. The tree is made of gingerbread, of course it is. And it's also soft gingerbread, not the crunchy one, like the one that's like the traditional German gingerbread, not the cookie one. It's got stairs climbing up the treehouse. I honestly wanna live in here. Like I wanna stay in here forever. I wanna be in there. This might be the only part where you can kinda see a little bit of the icing, so you can kinda see like the construction of it. Other than this little detail here, that's more exposed, you rarely can tell that this is a gingerbread house. It looks like you bought it from the toy section at Walmart. Look at the front, look at this. <laughs> there will never be better gingerbread content in the history of YouTube. This is, this is it, it peaks here. This is the greatest gingerbread Christmas content. It will only get better if I accidentally knock this whole thing over. It would be like setting my wallet on fire. Merry Christmas. This is my Christmas present for myself this year because I really wanted to experience this, I guess, 
kind of the Christmas present for you guys as well. It is worth it. It is art. It is beautiful. And I cannot believe that it's gingerbread. I don't even know what to expect for the next ones because all of them were made by the same person. Oh boy. This is about to be so much better than I expected. Oh wait, I can't cry into the gingerbread house because this is icing. It will just collapse. If I remember correctly and call me out the Simpsons fans, call me out if I'm wrong. Don't call me out so quick. This is Marge and Homer's bedroom. I think this is Lisa's bedroom. This is the living room. This is the entrance, I think. This is the kitchen, I think. This is the backyard. And this is Bart's treehouse that I didn't request. I don't think this was on the photo. Even the windows look the same. The doors are the same exact color. How did they replicate the color so perfectly? This is an exact replica of the treehouse to the color, to the window, the little steps going up. I don't have it in me to do this. So this is frosting, but then it's gingerbread as well on the inside. So everything is gingerbread on the inside. Should not be putting my finger there. And yes, in case you're wondering, the whole thing is very, very heavy. And it's also really big. Look at the size of my hand in comparison. Like, the front of this is bigger than my hand. This is my hand in comparison, next to the tree. I know this is meant to be eaten. I just don't think I can do it. Okay, I need to remind myself that the person who made it got well paid for this. So it's... Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. <gasps> it's gingerbread! It's gingerbread on the inside. Wait, what happens if I break the garage door? <laughs> wow, we should put this on one of those presses from TikTok. That would be kind of satisfying. Oh man, this is incredible. It's very thick gingerbread. This is a great quality gingerbread. Look at this. Oh my god, and the house on the inside! I'm like, I'm slightly disappointed the characters are not living on the inside. It's got very little icing, even in the corners. This is all the icing that it's got. The construction of it is incredible, but the best part... Look at this. It's soft. It's not crunchy. How can they make this sustain all this weight? It's truly, truly incredible. I'm gonna tear down the whole front of the house. When Krusty the Clown lets the intrusive thoughts win, <laughs> Man, this is so good. I am about to freeze so much gingerbread. Should we bite into it? Not me biting the Simpsons front door. This looks so strange on camera. Oh my god. It is so good. It is so yummy. I have no words. I've never had gingerbread like this. It's incredible. This also looks like there was an earthquake in Springfield. This gotta come with a trigger warning if you have children. They probably don't want to see the Simpsons house look like this and my giant face hovering over it. This is the Godzilla sequel nobody asked for. The actual gingerbread, obviously you can see it's incredible, but also this fondant, I could be wrong, but I think this is like maybe like marzipan because it's got a flavor to it that it's not just sugar. It's not even overly sweet. It's actually delicious. Like the windows and the doors taste delicious, which is the first time I've ever said that because I usually hate fonda. It's not something that I like to eat. I like to look at. This one, it's great to look at, but it tastes even better. We're gonna let the intrusive thoughts win. We're all wondering what the tree is made of. It's so stable. <gasps> Ouch, I think I'm bleeding. <laughs> when there's a hurricane in Springfield. I'm going to hell for this. I paid for it, it's fine. Me when my mom tells me to eat vegetables. One of four a day. Like this whole tree is lined with aluminum paper, which is not what I was expecting. This one is different. This is not the same material from here. This is actual sugar paste or something. I don't think this is meant to be edible. They could have just used a broccoli head. Vegan turkey legs be like... I can't eat this, <laughs> it's just sugar. It's really, really crunchy. I didn't even request this, I only request the gingerbread house. It's better than I could have ever imagined. And I honestly got gingerbread to last me for three years now. My neighbors are about to receive the world's strangest gingerbread package <laughs> broken into pieces. They're like, is that Marge Simpson? 
Nah, that can't be. I could eat half of this. Suddenly my passions lie on real estate. 10 out of 10. This is the most incredible thing that I think we've ever done regarding realistic baking. Incredible. No words. The tree house. Okay, this side still looks incredible without the tree. Just for the fun of it, we're gonna finish tearing apart the garage. Look at that, it's even softer in the garage part. This is like the best gingerbread. It's also a whole lot of gingerbread. I was not expecting these to be this big. But suddenly the price kind of makes sense. And even on the inside, the inside walls are gingerbread. They actually divided the house on the inside. Look, that's a whole sheet of gingerbread in the back here. Probably can't see it. Springfield is lovely this time of year. You should visit Springfield on Christmas time. This next gingerbread house is from my top three Pixar movies. It's really hard to pick. One of the most iconic fictional houses ever, the house from the movie Up. The image that I sent to the bakery was this one. So I made sure that the balloons were on full display. Oh. They were on full display for a second. I wanted to make sure that whatever image I was going to use for this one, that the balloons were part of it. So, I mean, from the height of it, I'm guessing there's balloons in here. I don't know if they're gonna be made of gingerbread because that sounds insane. But after seeing the first one, maybe. This is the one that I was most excited for in the whole video. So let's just, let's do it. I don't know what happened to Google Images, but it's gone downhill. It's definitely not gone up. If there's balloons in here, I don't want to pop them with my knife, but there's no other way to open this, right? This right here is a gingerbread version of the balloon floating house from the movie Up. Three, two, one. I actually have no words. Oh my god. It's definitely not gingerbread. I can't breathe. I'm like, is this is the opposite of a panic attack. This is a joyful attack. It keeps getting better. This is insane. Look at the detail. They've done the front porch, the roof of the house in like different colors, the balloons on it, the grass, a hose, the little stairs. It's so beautiful. It's literally... Like, I actually want to cry. This is literally like my childhood dream. If I was myself 10 years back, I would be crying right now. This is beautiful. I don't even know what to say. And it's 3D once again. They do the full sides of this. It's like helium balloons. That's why the box felt strangely light. Are you kidding me? This is actually unreal. We've never had anything like this. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. I know this was expensive, but this is living up to the expectation times a million. This is a gingerbread house. How? Since when? In what universe? I'm losing my mind here. I cannot believe this is real. Okay, there's a few balloons that are like falling. This one's definitely not flying. This would be a great birthday cake. A great birthday gingerbread house. Imagine someone singing happy birthday and someone's just going across the room with this. Nobody would ever forget your birthday. I want to show you guys the details, but without cutting the balloons, because it's such an important part of this. The drama of this alone. This is the first time that I've ever ordered anything baked that comes with balloons, and it's very effective. This honestly looks like a Pixar movie scene happening in real time in front of me. This one is better than the first one. I am scared for the rest of the video. These people need some kind of award for this. It is truly the most beautiful constructed anything that we've ever had on my channel. Wait, the balloons are attached to the roof. It's really cute. I'm gonna try to show you. The construction on this roof alone. I can even build a roof like that on The Sims. Imagine doing this out of gingerbread. How is this even possible? Every single element of the house has been textured. They've cut different shapes of cutting, different colors. Colors, everything is put together so smoothly that it honestly, you wouldn't even know this is a gingerbread house. That's how insane this looks. And it's not because the camera is far away. You can come close and you will see, like the details actually only get better when you get really close to it. This doesn't look like food. This is edible. This is truly insane. I'm out here just being speechless. I need to sit down. <laughs> we have more coming up. 
This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. How could I ever destroy this? I just can't. I literally cannot do this. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. A really interesting thing that kind of shows how good they are and how much attention to detail there is, is the fact that if you guys see the grass from The Simpsons and the grass from this one, it's the texture of it is completely different. The Simpsons ones was smooth. It kind of reminds you of the animated flat look. This one, it's way more textured. It reminds you of like the Pixar style movies where it's like 3D but very detailed. That's what it looks like. It looks like a Pixar movie in front of me. It's got the front porch. It's got the house number on it. Come on. The roof is literally like a piece of art. I would only be able to show you if I remove the balloons, which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. I'm pulling a little bit too hard here. It's better not. <laughs> better not. They could have honestly stopped with the front and they still went and did both sides. So like, you can see this side, they've still done the windows. Like all the house panels are like decorated. The colors are so accurate, which I think is one of the most impressive things. When you're replicating something from an animated movie, each movie has like a palette. It's like a stylistic choice and they've replicated that for every single one so far. Like this colors would not go on The Simpsons, but for this, it makes perfect sense. So this time around, I think they didn't decorate the back. Oh my god, they decorated the back. Oh, this was worth everything I paid for. This is art. Back of the house reveal. Are you kidding me? They did not do this. It's fully decorated. It's fully like ready for like a 3D viewing experience. It's about to be a 3D eating experience as well. It's a whole lot of gingerbread, so it smells like gingerbread as well. Like the smell you get from this whole thing is Christmas, cinnamon, nutmeg. You know, the classic gingerbread smell, like, which is not what you expect. You're probably thinking this is like cake. This is nothing like cake. Do you see how sturdy this is? This is so much better than cake. I'm about to launch a new trend of 3D realistic gingerbread constructions, if it doesn't exist already. But I bet it's gonna be a thing next year for next Christmas. Wait, did the... For a second, I thought this had collapsed because I couldn't see it from the angle. That's how 3D this is. And I don't think I've shown you this side yet. Look how beautiful that is. Look, and you can see the gingerbread on here. And even these columns here on the front porch are made of gingerbread. The whole thing is gingerbread. The windows, the paneling on it, the roofs, the tiles. Like the roof is honestly the most impressive part. This is probably a huge mistake, but I want to show you the roof because I just need you to see how detailed this is. If one of these balloon pops, I'm going to be so scared. That's life in America. Would you look at that? Like, do you guys see the roof? How incredible is this? They didn't know how to do that. I would not notice. Like they could have done the front and then the whole thing smooth, but every piece of the roof is detailed. It is truly incredible. I was aware when I contacted these people, this was not only the most expensive, but one of the most talented people in the whole of America. So I kind of knew what I was signing up for. It's still blowing my mind. It's just so beautiful. It's dreamy. I can stand here for like a whole hour. It's making me emotional. It's so realistic that I can imagine the characters and it's making me sad because Alp is kind of like a bittersweet movie. This is a bittersweet construction. Once I bite into it, it's probably just gonna be sweet and I'm probably just gonna enjoy it. And my tears are gonna dry real quick. <laughs> if the other one was a 10 out of 10, this one is and a hundred out of ten. Cannot believe this is real. Because I didn't see before filming, I could have tied this up a little bit better so you guys could see more of the details. It looks beautiful either way. So this is like a size comparison. It's pretty big. Like this is almost as big as my torso, the whole thing. Even the house alone is pretty big. Imagine my hand sitting on the front porch, greeting you. <laughs> I cannot cut into this. I physically cannot do it. You guys are gonna have to get someone else to do this. <laughs> I can't do it. It was so expensive, but that's not even the problem because, you know, money is money. I'll make more money. It's the skill of whoever made this and also the stories from the movie. It's just, I feel like I'm destroying something special. Uh <laughs> if you're gonna be mad at me because you're the biggest up fan. It's one of my favorite movies, so this pains me just as much. I'm obviously gonna give this gingerbread to people, so I'm gonna have to break into it 
Regardless, the whole roof, which is what I was wondering, is made of gingerbread. Like, how much gingerbread do they have to bake for this? Like, that's gingerbread. The whole thing is gingerbread. You'd kind of expect that they would use some cardboard sticks to sort of help this, but even the pillars, like the front porch, I'm gonna remove the front porch, not me destroying the front porch from up. Even the front porch, it's just gingerbread. Other than the decorations on the outside, which are made of like this kind of like an almond sugar paste, it's just gingerbread on the inside. The budget of this video is going at $2,000 right now. My neighbors better enjoy this gingerbread. I'm gonna send this to them in containers, so I need to break this in clean way. Let's see what happens if we cut the balloons. You guys think the balloons are going to float? Are the balloons going to fly? Stop the video and comment below. Are they gonna drop? or fly to the ceiling. I'm not gonna be able to catch them. Three, two, one. Um, it's the thought that counts, I guess. The way this was done, it's so clever. Do you see how it was actually attached to the chimney, which I think is in the movie, they've done the same thing, right? Is that where the balloons come from? I can't remember, honestly. It's been a while since I watched the movie. It's so clean, like there was no weird attachment. You literally can't even see it. It was just attached to the chimney. There's nothing on the inside, so I have no idea how they've done this. It's next level. I've never seen constructions from a bakery as perfect as this. Like the front porch is made of gingerbread. So I'm assuming the whole house is made of gingerbread as well. I need to cut this in a clean way. Otherwise I can't put this in containers. How am I gonna do this? So this one has a little bit more sugar because of the roof. So this one is not as much ginger. Like the first one was a little bit more gingerbready. This one is hard to break because there's so much sugar in it. Like this piece, for example, it's mostly sugar, which is understandable because it's very complex to build. If anyone thought that Up was a sad movie, I'm about to make it a whole lot sadder. Look at that, the whole inside of the roof is gingerbread. Are you kidding me? This is more gingerbread than I can stomach. I'm gonna eat so much gingerbread today. Okay, that just looks like a meteor just hit the house from Up. <laughs> The flooring! It's dividing the floors of the house is gingerbread. The back is fully gingerbread. I'm expecting the little old man to be living here, but no. Oh, is that the thing where the balloons are attached to? I honestly can't remember. I was gonna say this video can only go up from here, but honestly, it can only go down from here. This to me is not even baking. This is art. This is truly art and I'm about to eat the roof from the house from up. I actually enjoy the sugar part on these which is so weird because I never like it but I just actually think it tastes nice. Okay maybe not this one, this one is a little bit tough. Oh! This one is not as edible as the Simpsons one. There's a lot of like, um, crunchy bits in it. It is edible. It's just, you might break a tooth. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Yes, you're guessing it correctly. For this next one, of course, we're doing the SpongeBob SquarePants pineapple house. Is it a pineapple? Is that what they call it, a pineapple house? It's one of the most well-known fictional houses ever. And it's also, the shape of it is so interesting that I was like, how would this translate into gingerbread? And from what we've had so far, probably gonna look spectacular. So the windows, the little pineapple greens on top, the door, the little chimney that is a pipe, I want it to look like straight out of SpongeBob SquarePants. So it is here. Let me try to figure out how I'm gonna do this. I just know this one's gonna be better than the first two. I hope I didn't destroy our pineapple house. This time around, this is the SpongeBob SquarePants pineapple house made strictly out of gingerbread or gingerbread and icing. Three. Two, one. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a go cookie crumble. Sand. 
This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. This is my favorite one. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna cry. <sighs> I felt so much emotions in this video. This is truly Christmas. Center, let's do this. How beautiful is this? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The detail! They've done the flowers and they've animated them in the very same style as Spongebob. You will see what I mean when I zoom in. The seaweed, the pineapple top, like how intricate is this? They could have just done like a flat 2D kind of decoration. <gasps> the chimney! There's a chimney! It was, I didn't see it from my angle. Oh my god. Wait! How do they make gingerbread curved? <laughs> my Apple Watch is telling me my heart rate is too high. I need to stop living my content so ferociously. It just, I can't help it. This is the most detail oriented out of all of them. Like that image that I showed you guys, we have to do a side by side. The actual pineapple texture. This is all 3D. Like, I don't even know how they've done this. I honestly don't even understand how this is gingerbread. Look how sturdy it is. Oh, never mind. I cannot believe the details in this. Like, this is actually insane. From the fact that the bottom of it, it's icing, like gingerbread house icing, and then covered in cookie, and like biscuits to make sand. The actual outside of the pineapple, not only it's textured, so you can see all the marks and then the little there's little orange marks on it, but it's also airbrushed, so there's different colors going on. It looks exactly like a SpongeBob SquarePants episode. If you watch SpongeBob SquarePants, you know exactly what I mean. These flowers do not belong to any other animation. That is a classic SpongeBob SquarePants element. And it's just the way they've stylistically been able to copy every single thing. The rocks, like this is a SpongeBob SquarePants rock. I can't get it out. Magic Patrick Star is under the rock. <laughs> if I show you this, a rock, just a rock, you'd know where this is from. That's what I mean with how incredible this is and they deserve every bit of the praise I'm giving and uh, also the money that I'm giving them. This is the third house, we're at $3,000. Alrighty. This is fine. <laughs> this is beautiful. The little chimney little window. The thing that's really keeping me questioning things is how do they curve gingerbread? How does that work? Because gingerbread is not something that you can shape. We need to do like a close-up and then side by side with the original, but this is the one that I think looks the most similar to the image that I sent them because they've literally replicated every single detail, including the flowers, the rocks, the little path on front of the house. It's just incredible. It really is incredible. Speechless. No words. Gingerbread panic. Okay, so if we did a side-by-side -side with the actual image that I sent them, I would say this is the most similar one. From like the actual textures, the details of everything, and then every single element, like these flowers on the side, it looks straight out of a SpongeBob SquarePants episode. Like if you watch that, you know exactly what I mean. Like this, does not belong to anything else. Like this could not be Phineas and Ferb, this could not be a Pixar movie. This is SpongeBob from each detail, each corner of this is SpongeBob SquarePants. And now we gotta break into it. I cannot believe all these years, guys, I have not been canceled yet. This is the one, I think. This is the one that's gonna get me canceled. All the fans from these TV shows are gonna be like, how could you do this? But I mean, obviously I'm not throwing a party, but if I did, people would eat it. So that's my reasoning. So the door, it's made of fondant. Okay, we can put it back on. Okay, it's pretty forgiving. <laughs> I am interested in knowing how is this made of gingerbread, like the actual pineapple, right? So we're gonna... Interesting. I really cannot get through this one. Wait, we're getting somewhere. Oh, I'm at the gingerbread part now. Oh, this feels so wrong. Sorry, SpongeBob. SpongeBob in there, just trying to showering, watching TV, minding his own business, and a giant blade comes through. This is the first one where I feel like we've really destroyed it. Okay, so this one has something else. That's how they made it round. This is like fonda, I think, the top. This one is different. Look, there's a layer of chocolate? 
There's chocolate? Are you kidding me? That's chocolate! It's chocolate gingerbread! It's... <laughs> it's gonna get better. It's so good! It's the best Christmas ever. The combination of the dark chocolate with this gingerbread is insane. That's why it's so solid. I was like, this is really difficult. So it goes the decorations on the outside, which is similar to the other ones. Then there's a layer of chocolate, but wait for it. Then there's a gingerbread and then there's chocolate on the inside again. So the whole inside of SpongeBob's house is made of chocolate. So if you expect the Krabby Patty formula, you didn't get that, but you got a whole lot of chocolate. This is incredible. Like the inside of this is so smooth and satisfying because it's all chocolate. It's like chocolate pieces. This is the most delicious one. It's like the best Christmas treat ever. Oh my God, this is so good. This is the best combination ever. I'm actually obsessed with the combination of dark chocolate gingerbread. I need a glass of milk. I think we can safely say that out of all of them, this one has the best construction because this one is delicious. And then the bottom of it, it's like icing and cookie. It tastes like a uh, graham crackers. This is my dream, my biggest dream. A dream that I never knew I had. Man, this is so good. I need to show you guys the inside because you will not believe me that the whole inside is chocolate. It's like a gothic nightclub in there. I'm trying to show you, but it's just dark, but you have to believe me, there is chocolate in there. Wait, maybe I can use my phone. This is me attempting to show you guys that there's only chocolate on the inside. It's so clean. The construction of this is insane. The round is made of gingerbread. So the round part is just gingerbread and chocolate. Look, it's still gingerbread all the way to the top. How is this even possible? This gingerbread is not going to my neighbors. This one is so good. This one is gonna stay in a little container in my freezer for the next two weeks. I, no words. I can't even destroy the front in this one. This is my favorite one by far. I bet those of you who are into like 3D cakes and things like that, you probably wanna know how they've done the top. And I think it's like sugar paste and it's got these little sticks and it's just attached to the roof of the house. So each stick comes out. So you could be like, he loves me, he loves me not. <laughs> but you can do this for a hot minute. Each of these were made with like attention to detail. There's about a hundred of them. You could even put them together again after. It's incredible the construction on this. I've seen a whole lot of cakes. You guys know I've made dozens of cake videos. This is better than any of my cake videos. And it's gingerbread and chocolate, which is even more difficult. Look at this, the detail on the door. Oh, the detail on the windows. Can you believe that? There's someone actually went and did all of this. I have no idea what they use to stick things, but it's really, really effective. You can't put, you can't put it back though. <laughs> For this next one, I wanted to give you some variety, even though this is not something that I particularly know. This is the Star Trek house. I think that's not what it is. Maybe the Star Wars, let's try Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars house. Okay, see, that's not what it is either. Wait, this is what it is. So rewind this whole thing. Oh my God, I'm, people are about to be so mad. So for this next one, I wanted to include something from a real movie and I wanted a movie that has like a cult following, a popular movie. And I saw this image from this house from the Star Wars movie. It's Luke Skywalker's house in Tatooine. I don't know if Tatooine is a place in America or a fictional city, sounds like both. But this is the house. And I think the most interesting thing about this one is that it's very round. And I was wondering how they would make that out of gingerbread. Even though now we kind of know that it's possible. I hope the inside is chocolate. I hope the inside is chocolate. Once again, this is the front in the front. So I'm just going to cut this, becoming very good at this. This would have been a lot easier with a lightsaber. Did I hit the audience? 
<laughs> the lightsaber is never from Star Wars, is it? Or is it from Toy Story with Zerg? This right here that I'm about to reveal is Luke Skywalker's house from Star Wars. Three, two, one. <laughs> this is out of this world. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I did not expect this. This is massive. It is so much better than I expected. And what is this on here? Is this a reference to anyone? Please let me know in the comment section. There's these miniature figures. This is epic. It's got two fronts of the house, which I didn't even know. Wait, this is the front front of the house. Does this house have a front? The whole thing smells of graham crackers and gingerbread. It is insane. <laughs> I did not expect this size. Like, this is crazy. And this is like Christmas for me, even though I don't even know what Star Wars is. Could be a movie, a TV series, could be an episode of Dateline. If I saw this man walking down the street, I would have no idea who he is. Luke Skywalker's got a decent sized house. I guess I wasn't even showing you the front. I was kind of confused on what the front was. It's spray painted, like the effect on this, it's insane. This looks like it's made of stone. It feels like it's made of stone. Knock knock, Luke Skywalker. He's like, hello? Just leave it on the front door. I'm gonna be honest, for this one, I had no expectations. I was just like, this will mean something to some people. But seeing it here, it's so cool. The fact that this is a gingerbread house. Let it sink in. This is a gingerbread house. Is it going to be made of white chocolate on the inside? No, that would be insane. I think it'll be white chocolate. One of the most beautiful things about this one is the colors on it, which I think on camera, it's honestly not doing justice. It's very bright in here. For example, here it's got a bit of like a, I think a gray and then more like a brown, and the way it blends, it creates almost like an extraterrestrial like marble effect. Okay, from the back, it kind of looks like the Taj Mahal. I promise you, in real life, this looks so cool. This is also one of the biggest ones, which doesn't look like it, because it's not big in height, but it is super wide. Like, this is very, very big. The way they finished it, like this matte finishing on it, and you can really touch it, like it doesn't rub off the collar or anything weird. It is so beautiful that I don't even know what to say. We need to do a side-by-side -side, and I think the side-by-side -side for this one will be wild because it just looks the same. I know this one is obviously a little bit less detailed than the other ones, but it looks the same. What can I say? It looks just exactly the same. And they went and added these little antennas here. I know this means something to Star Wars fans, so please let me know in the comment section what this is. I'm sure this is like valuable. It's incredible, it's like metal. It's pretty great. This was the one that I think took a little bit longer because they had to order the special pieces. I really appreciate the detail that went into it. I mean, I don't appreciate the detail that went into it, but someone will. Look at the size of this, I could put my hand in there. That's how you know this is like pretty big. Do you guys think this is made of gingerbread on here? I'm not sure if I even showed you this, but look at that. The whole floor is made of sand. This stuff is so sturdy that I can really put it this at an angle and look, nothing happens. Also, from the back, it looks like I have a giant bald man standing in front of me. Bald people going for a haircut. No, I've pissed off bald people. I've pissed off everyone in this video. The vibes are not passing the check. Wait, the vibes are not passing the check. This video has been a little too emotional for me. These little antennas, does anyone know what they are? They even twist. I want someone to let me know in the comment section what these are so I can Google it. But they definitely didn't make this out of gingerbread because that would have been insane, right? I'm not gonna try to break it. The ones on this side are even better. They were like, you know what? We're very good at making things out of gingerbread, but this is the limit. This is no tree house. This is some extraterrestrial construction that we do not possess the capacity for. And I respect that. It literally looks like a photograph from another planet, from some extraterrestrial world. There's so many sides to this. This looks good from practically every angle. I think this will be made of white chocolate. I don't know why, it just seems like it. It smells like white chocolate in here. So let's see if this is made of gingerbread.
Yup, the gingerbread house is gingerbreading. And look, it's white chocolate in the center. I think it's white chocolate. Wait, why does that actually look so good? There's like a line of white chocolate. Not me almost poking myself in the eye with the antenna. Okay. Yeah. It's a very crispy white chocolate, but it tastes like white chocolate. That is, I cannot believe I guessed this. I'm a genius. It is very good. It's a little crispy this side, but I think this one will be softer, hopefully. White chocolate gingerbread is very delicious. It's not as good as the dark chocolate gingerbread. It strangely works as well. So I guess gingerbread kind of goes well with everything. Wait, should we just break into this? <gasps> I'm like meteor. It's so much easier to do this when I'm not a fan of whatever this is. <laughs> the Star Wars fans horrified me. Oh well. So this bit is also made, I don't know what this is honestly. It's almost like a, a crispier frosting. But the gingerbread's a lot softer in this one. It's just... Wow. There's a lot of sugar. I do like it. No, that is white chocolate. Just a crunchy white chocolate. It tastes like milk. I don't know exactly what it is, but basically the whole outside, this crunchy part, it's like a crunchy white chocolate. It does not taste like frosting, icing. It's something else. And I can show you like a close up so you guys can guess what it is or how it's made. Cause I would actually love to know what this is. I don't know. It almost looks like a honeycomb or something. It's not frosting and it's not icing and it tastes like milk. It's like the milkiest flavor. I have no idea how they've done the round gingerbread roof. Isn't that incredible? How have they done this? How is the gingerbread curved? Like how is it hollow on the in the center? It's hollow on the inside, which means how? How is the gingerbread holding? Is anyone else following my reasoning? Cause I feel like I'm losing my mind, just me or my own. It does not make sense. Oh, there's paper here. What happens if we break through the paper? Luke Skywalker. Come on guys, I just fixed the roof. I thought it was a minor leak. Okay, so the bottom of it, it's got a few sticks. So it's quite similar to the way the houses were built. But the most impressive thing with this one is that the roof is curved. They've done the full curvature of it. Like I wish I could remove a whole chunk of the curvature to show you. Wait, maybe I can do it. Let's perform surgery on here. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I can't do it. Okay, this is as much as I can. How? How do you make gingerbread do this? Where are they like the gingerbread bender? Do you see how this gingerbread is like soft, but also super moist? It's honestly one of the best qualities of gingerbread. The only reason why it makes this one slightly drier than the other ones, it's because of the milk, the crunchy milk layer. It does make this taste a little bit drier, but honestly, I still think it's delicious. I would probably just remove the white Hard. It would have been better if this had chocolate on the inside, but I already got so much of gingerbread. There's nothing else I can ask for. <sighs> this is pretty incredible. This is so good. <laughs> this is the best Christmas snack ever. Is there any episode or sequel of Star Wars in which they destroy Luke's house? Because if so, it's accurate right now. It looks like there's been a war. Now I know where Star Wars comes from. This is a work of art, how they've painted each bit to make it look like stone. It's out of this world, truly. I'm well aware this was an expensive video, but as you can see, this is art and I wanted this to be a next level to some of the things that I've shown you guys. And especially when it comes to gingerbread, we take it seriously and I wanted it to be the best gingerbread content that you've seen on YouTube. So I hope that someone else enjoyed it. If you guys hate this video, I'm honestly, and I'm not just saying it, I'm truly okay with it because I had so much fun. I was losing my mind for the last three hours filming this. The SpongeBob house, the Simpsons house, the construction on this, the combination of gingerbread chocolate, it was perfect. If a hundred thousand people hate this video, that's okay with me because I loved it. And this was my Christmas present for myself, even though it was a very expensive Christmas present. Anyways, <laughs> I have a lot of gingerbread now. So if you're my neighbor, you know what you're gonna be getting on your doorstep in the morning. I got a whole lot of 
containers to prepare. I hope you guys had fun with this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like, especially if you want me to do another one of these. I can see myself doing this again because this was so enjoyable for me. So if you really want it, I might actually make another one. Maybe I'll just do two fictional houses for the next one. Let me know in the comment section, what other fictional houses should we do for the next one? I have an idea, but I don't want to say it because then people are going to copy it. But maybe I should say it. It's from a popular movie and it's a school where people learn magic. And that made out of gingerbread. If you know what it is, don't please don't put it in the comment section. You're gonna ruin this. <laughs> but if you want a part two, let me know if you guys have any more ideas. Don't forget to subscribe, switch the notifications on so you don't miss out on future episodes. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.